And welcome back to Star Fox Adventures for the Nintendo GameCube. Alright my friends, welcome back. We're here against Boss Galdon. Alright my friends, we've come here in pursuit of the first Spellstone, which as you can see, Galdon is holding on to. And uh, yeah, this is going to be an interesting fight. We actually need uh, Tricky to start this thing off, because as you can see, he's frozen, and we need Tricky to unfreeze him. So, before anything starts... I'm going to stock up on some uh, energy, because we're going to need it. In fact, the only thing we need for this battle is the Fire Blaster. Oh, this guy sucks. Seriously. Seriously, seriously sucks. Really cool battle environment, though. Lots of space here. Nice, uh, I don't actually know where we are, but um, I'm going to go with it. So here we are, let's get some more of this. And let's unfreeze him. Pretty cool boss as well. It's about time we fought a boss. Alright, let's get out of here. He's got the spell stone. Oh boy. No, don't swallow the spell stone. You just had to do it, didn't you? Have to eat everything. Are you going to eat their mushrooms as well? You just kicked a mushroom, that's so disrespectful. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh my god, ah! Damn it! No, go away! Damn, man. Didn't give me a chance to react there. Alright. Now, if you guys have played uh, Zelda or the Ocarina of Time, um, the fight with Ganon right at the end, you have to hit his tail. Well, this is pretty much the same thing. We've got to get behind there somehow. We've got flames coming out of these uh, little holes in the ground here as well, which isn't exactly fun. Ah, oh, damn it, go away. This guy can do a ton of damage, by the way, if you're not focused. Come on, stay still. Stay still, damn it. Come on, one more, one more. There we go. How do you like it? No, oh, no, 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 no. Game over. <laughs> No, that's what I thought the first time I played this. This is actually part of the uh, battle. We have to hit this thing. How I love the Fire Blaster. Makes things uh, happen so much more quicker. Oh, okay. You got a case of heartburn? It's looking that way. Okay, I see where we've got to attack next. Come on in. You want to play at this time? Are you kidding me? you got to be kidding me, Tricky, aren't you? Go on and play, play ball if you want. This isn't going to work, is it? Why did I think that was going to work? Come on. Yeah, by the way, stay out of the way of these big green plasma-like ball things. Um, because some of them can do like a whole, I don't know, a whole section of health, which is just mad in my opinion. Ugh. Damn it, Tricky. Let's just stay back. As long as you stay away from him and keep some distance and don't run into fire like I just did, um, you'll pretty much be okay. Although Tricky is getting in my way now. He just clawed me. Oh, come on. There we go. Yeah. Take that heartburn, biatch. So the first boss we kill by giving him a massive case of acid reflux. Not bad. Not a bad way to kill a boss. One last time. I just realised I better be careful now, because if I get hit by one of them plasma balls, I'm dead. But I have got some of those uh, Bethom Dad things, so I can come back to life if I die, but I'd rather not die. Ah, oh, I say that while getting hit. Come on. Come on. Come on. This guy's taking a while now. There we go. There's our opportunity. He doesn't give up, does he? Big mistake swallowing us for the second time because we're going to do the exact same thing, except this time we're going to get the spellstone. The first spellstone of this game. Thank God for that. There we go. It only took us to go inside the mouth of a creature. Oh no.
Oh, you must forgive your father. You must work together to lead the Snowhorn tribe against Scales instead of fighting each other. I will, Fox. Because of you, my people shall no longer live as slaves. Okay, we'll see you soon. We gotta take this spellstone back to the planet. Alright, now, sticking with the Zelda theme, as you can see, we've got another heart container, which is uh, just Class A gaming, in my opinion. It's so relative. This whole game is just... Oh, man. It's so relative to The Legend of Zelda. There are so many things that are similar. But like I said, I don't mind that. It actually makes this game very, very much enjoyable. But we're pretty much done here at Dark Ice Mines for the time being. I don't know if we're going to be coming back here anytime soon. We need to go back to Dinosaur Planet. Great job, Fox! You saved the Snowhorn tribe and collected the Spellstone. But it's not over yet. You need to return the Spellstone to the Force Point Temple. Got it. Okay. Yeah, no problem. No problem, General Pepper. I know the drill. I've done this many times in Star Fox 64. I know what I've got to do here. Ow. Okay. Damn, this is taking me back again. Seriously. Yeah, we've got to go to the Force Point Temple and take that Spellstone with us. There we go. That's all you need. Literally just one gold ring. To get to the main planet as well. It actually seems uh, like not that much, really. Thank you, Slippy. Damn it, I missed one. Never mind, I've got all ten here before anyway. I don't really get anything for doing that anyway. I don't know why I'm bothering. It's just me and me wanting to get like 100% and stuff. Can't blame me for wanting to do that in games. It feels good. Alright, we're done. Okay, cool. Let's head back to Dinosaur Planet. I wonder what's happened here. That dinosaur looks like it's in a rush. What's happened here since I've been gone? Apart from the weather change. You've got to help us. Those horrible shark claws put out our lovely beacons and it gets too dark at night. We'd be scared in the dark. <laughs> okay, okay, stop crying. I'll see what I can do. Don't forget about the spell stone, Fox. You have to return it to the Force Point Temple. Yeah, so we're meant to be going to the Force Point Temple, but now we've got to help some dinosaurs that are afraid of the dark. Damn them sharp claws. Alright, so first things first, as you can see here, there's a tree with some uh, burning things in there. We need to get those. So just hit them if you can. <laughs> I took damage in the process of getting it. You can do. You can take fire damage, which is crazy. This is fireweed. It may come in use to help the fawn tails. It has to. It's the only thing we've got. Come here. There we go. Come here. Yay, nice. You only need three of them, because there's only three of these beacons in uh, fawn tail hollow. Right, okay. Oh, I only got two of them. Never mind, I'll go back and get another one. Alright, where are you, Tricky? Do your thing. Wherever you are. <laughs> what are you doing? Taking ages. The dinosaurs are scared, damn it. Well, watch, watch out for me. Okay. Well, I need to get one more of these now. I could have sworn I got three of them. What the hell? Never mind. Come here. There we go. Right, because I'm that much of a badass, I don't mind being on fire. <laughs> Come to think of it, I am in the water here. I wonder if I could put out the flames by jumping straight into the water. I've never tried that, but I don't see why the physics wouldn't work. Now there's one round here, and there's one by the warp stone as well. So let's just do this. Alright. Pretty much rinse and repeat here. We're just lighting up three beacons, and that's pretty much it. It's pretty much all we've got to do. Fireweed. So 
sounds like a very rare drug, doesn't it? Which I don't condone. Want to get some scarabs, though. Those I do condone. They're going to come in handy with buying some more stuff at the stock, providing the shopkeeper is actually generous for a change. It's been pretty tight with his supplies at the moment, especially considering some of them are ours, like this thing here, for example. This was actually our device, and we had to buy it back. Like, how messed up is that? There we go. Last one. Alright, there we go. Dumb. Oh, damn it, you had to be hungry. Here you go. Have some mushrooms. Passing around mushrooms and weed. This is looking good so far. Alright, now do your thing. Alright. The beacons mean so much to my tribe. Please take this. I believe it will help you on your quest. Yeah, so we actually had to do that. You couldn't skip it and go to the Force Point Temple because uh, you wouldn't get this Moon Pass key. It will allow you to open the gateway that leads to the Volcano Force Point Temple. So yeah, we actually had to do that. And now I believe we have to go this way. If any of the mushrooms are asleep, because I've just noticed that a lot of the dinosaurs are asleep, so the mushrooms should be sleeping as well. And that sounds really weird, doesn't it? The mushrooms are sleeping. But it's a good opportunity to farm some of them, because uh, they run away. It, it's kind of... I mean, I must be tripping balls. I've been doing too much fireweed. But these mushrooms, they jump away. I, I <laughs> These mushrooms are emitting some powerful red gas, which drains your health. I mean, it's mad. But we've got to come over here, and like I said before, these um, little bomb spores here actually do come in handy. So always make sure that you've got some on you, otherwise you may find yourself doing some backtracking, which is never fun. And this is the way we've got to go. We're now carrying a spell stone. All right, now if only I could get over there without this floor breaking. No. Yeah, unfortunately that has to happen. And you can't spend too much time down here because, um, I don't know, I guess this gas is poisonous because um, we can't stay down here for too long judging by that meter. But believe me, you've got plenty of time and there's a little fuel cell over here as well that you can grab. So we might as well do that. But we're basically heading to Moon Pass as well after the Volcano Force Point Temple. We've got to head there first to get rid of the uh, Spellstone, of course. And let's see, there's another mushroom asleep. I'm grabbing you. We're at the Moon Mountain Pass. Really cool place. In fact, all the places in this game, in my opinion, are really epic in their own ways. Especially these things as well. I don't know what they are, but they, they're just they're kind of cool. Okay, what's going on here? What is this? That's a big dinosaur. With a telescope. A telescope-wielding dinosaur. Oh boy, okay. So not only have we got two dinosaurs to contend with, we've also got Donkey Kong to contend with as well. Because apparently Donkey Kong hasn't showed his face in that many games, he has to appear in this one as well. Thanks Donkey Kong. Thank you. Now then, let's see if I can dodge all of these. Because what would be really sucky is if you got hit by one, like I just did, and you died instantly. That that would just be that just that just wouldn't be that that nice. That'd be kind of mean. Here we go. That's what we needed the key for. All right. This is the first biggest dinosaur that we've come across so far. Um. Yeah. He should just be up here somewhere. And I think you can't actually get him with a fire blaster as well. I think you actually have to fight him in normal combat. But I'm just going to very quickly get that fuel cell that I noticed there. Right, where are you? You're around here somewhere, I know you are. Oh wait, I see I see somebody over here. Oh jeez. There we go, you didn't block that, did you? That one can be a bit more of a pain in the ass. They've all got the same health, but that one just seems a bit more... Uh, better in the knowledge of combat, I would say. But that's all we've got to do to um, gain access to the Force Point Temple. 50 scarabs along our journey. We're doing pretty good so far. What are you guys thinking of this playthrough as well? Are you enjoying it? Does it live up to the expectations that you uh, hoped it would? I sure do hope it does. 
and I'm having a good time. I'm actually really enjoying this playthrough, like I expected I would as well, because, like I've said many times, it's quite a nostalgic game for me. I don't know whether about you guys, but I'm guessing if you're watching this, it means that you do actually enjoy the playthrough and the game. So yeah, pretty good times, fun times all round. Oh yeah, I remember you things. Stay put because these are on timer. No, oh come on, dude. What the hell was that? How did I have time to do that? That's complete BS. Right. Um, are these things on a timer? Let's see. They shouldn't be. Yes, they are. Okay, right. That that makes sense because I didn't have enough time to do that the first time. Right. I was gonna say there was no way that I was gonna make that in time. Um, oh yeah, we need to come down here. I never actually knew that the first time, and how did that fire get me? Yeah, we need to come down here. Avoid the fire bats. If you can. I mean, that one just hit me, and so did that one. Thanks. Cheers for that. There's some gates up there that we can open. Uh, we do have to come back here a few times, so I'll probably grab that stuff another time. Mainly because we need some other stuff before we can get all the collectibles up there anyway. But for now, I'm just focusing on this spellstone, which, luckily for me, I know exactly how to get there. I'm taking a lot of damage in the process, aren't I? Which is just great. This is just great. I mean, this may end up being a 25-minute episode, I reckon. This is, uh, yeah, quite the possibility. Come here. Don't you run away from me, Mushroom. Aha. This is where we've got to put the spellstone for the first time. Alright. There it is. It actually gives you access to, um, well, to areas. Like, for example, now, you couldn't get any further than this without the spellstone. You certainly wouldn't have gotten this far without the moon pass key. So, be sure to just collect everything that you can. Don't pass up any opportunities because it might come back and bite you in the ass. I've been tempted in the past to uh, leave behind tasks like that, a uh, dinosaur that needed help, but um, you see what I just did there? I shot one of the fire blasts through the flame and it changed colour and went to the sphere on the other side. And that's how you gain access to that. But you also need the spell stone to get through here as well. This dinosaur actually has a shield. There we go. Where are you, trusty spell stone? Yeah, this is definitely going to be a 25 minute episode, I mean, I'm about 19 minutes in already, I've still got to get into the Force Point Temple, uh, like the main bit. And I've just remembered there's a bit of fighting here as well, like this has been locked off, so I can't go anywhere at the moment anyway. I try and go back and there's four dinosaurs, so let's try and keep our cool here and just take them all out one by one. Good thing is, is when you've got them, you've got them. But as you can see, it's taking a little bit more to kill these bigger ones. But if you can get them, if you can get them past the shield, you're laughing, really. It, unless you miss like that. I mean, that can happen. These smaller ones don't seem that intimidating at all anymore. It's quite amusing, actually. Ah, oh, screw you, man. Get out of here. All of this to get through a door. There we go. All right getting flashbacks of Devil May Cry now when you take out the enemies and the hand disappears from the uh, door that you're, <laughs> that you're trying to get through. Right, if you could be so kind. Tricky. I need you to do this one over here as well. That's also another reason why I picked up some mushrooms because Tricky is actually going to come in handy here as well. He always does. Um, how did I get in here? Is there anything that way? Yes, I just came that way, right. Okay, trying to get my bearings here. It's been a little while since I actually came to this place in this uh, game. Because I haven't played this game properly in a while. Um, and I have to say that is a bit of a shocker for me, because I do very much enjoy this game. Sleeping mushroom! There we go. How do mushrooms sleep? I I've got no idea. I'm not going to question physics or nature or anything like that. I'm just playing this game. Nobody can blame me for that. Right, let's see. Um, I'm just going to jump through the fire and flames. It's what Dragon Force would want, right? Okay, now then. Oh yeah, we're going to be getting a power-up here, I just remembered. 
I didn't jump then because I, I remembered after I jumped off of the first platform that it went in because then ones are on timer as well. But here we go. We're getting another power up here. I know what it is. It's all come back to me now. Um, pretty cool, actually. I would say that this is uh, better than the Fire Blaster, in my opinion. What do we got? <clears throat> you have collected the Ice Blast. Yeah, so basically, we now have the Fire Blast and we now have the Ice Blast. Ah, I can never make that jump for some reason. I can always make it going to the uh, actual upgrade, but getting back, not so much. But the reason we've got that upgrade is because we uh, actually have to use it right this very second, in fact. We've got to put out these flames. There we go. And of course you can use it on the enemies as well, you can turn them into ice and then as soon as you um, actually hit the enemies after they've been frozen, uh, that's pretty much it. They're uh, pretty much just instantly killed. So I would actually go as far as to say that it's actually a lot better than the Fire Blast. I'm just trying to get the uh, Spellstone to the main point in this Force Point Temple at the moment because that's kind of where I wanted to end this episode and I'm not quite there yet. But nevertheless, I'm going to keep on trekking. Let's see. Yes, two more. Okay, good. Can't believe we have to do this. This is such a drag. Come on, I'm waiting for these platforms now. Time. Time is going. There we go. All of that just to get a platform. Dang it. Ah, okay. At least we can jump down here. We don't have to go all the way around for some bizarre reason. Alright, let's go. So we're actually in the main point now. So we're making good progress. And fire bats get me every single time. Hi, Fox. I've been studying the ancient records of this planet, and you might be interested to hear this. This temple has been built on a force point. A point where pure magical energy is forced up from within the core of the planet. This energy is so powerful that it continually attempts to break the planet apart. To stop this, the ancient Chrysoa placed two spell stones inside the temple to absorb the energy. When General Scales removed the stones, the planet began to fall apart. By returning the spell stones back to the temple, you will bring the planet together once more. Peppy out. Quite a lot of responsibility for just one fox. What can we do, eh? What can we do? Trying to save a planet. I mean, it is classic of us. Fox McCloud saving planets and stuff, but... This is quite a responsibility, I have to say. I just want to get the stone to where it needs to be. I'm against the time here. But it doesn't matter, I am actually enjoying the game, obviously. But, you know, ah, leave me alone. I think the only way you can kill them fire bats is with the ice blast. And this bit is a bit sort of like time consuming as well. Like, I'm not going to go forward because I know what's up ahead. You've got to come up here as well. And this bit to me seems a little bit pointless, but I guess they put it in here just to make this whole trip a bit more challenging. But it's not really challenging. You just come up here and put out like two more uh, flames or four more flames, whatever. This bit is a little bit sort of rinse and repeat. What is that? Oh, oh nice. At least they considered the magic. That is something. Alright. Uh, really? Where did that fire bat come from? Unbelievable. There was no fire bat there, was there? Oh, I can't even be asked with your shiz bats. Alright. Alright, so now I'll get to show off the ice blast. There you go. Boom. Instant death. Instant death. Instant death. <laughs> and there is a lot of magic in this game, so you're never really going to run out. Ah, screw it, I'm going to jump through the flames. I do that a lot, actually. I just run through all the flames, because health is normally quite a thing in this game as well. Like, you do come across a lot of that. 
But now we've got to help Tricky get across. And unfortunately for us, we can't really let him, well, run through the fire. I mean, that wouldn't be fair. You just got to hit these switches. Come on. Damn you. Come on. Stop, damn it. There we go. Come on, Tricky. Come across. Because I actually need you to open up this door. And you're a friend. Tricky is our friend. We can't leave him behind. Alright. I think we're nearly there, actually, guys. I knew this was going to be a big episode. Not, you know, not only did we have uh, Galdon to beat, but we also had to get the uh, Spellstone to the temple. Look at these things trying to hold me up. What the hell? Yeah, you didn't get me this time, did you? Yeah, screw you. Screw you, flying creatures of the dark. We're going to where we need to be. I'm pretty sure we're here now. We've taken a pretty hefty trip in order to get here. Yeah, here we are. Nice. Is it this one? It is. Look at that first time. I think there's four spell stones that we need to place here. That's what I said, guys. This game is quite big. A lot of stuff has been done to Dinosaur Planet that we need to restore. I mean, there's Krizoa Spirits, there's spell stones, there's bosses. There's a lot to do in this game. And I'm going to love every minute of it. And I have done so far as well. I'm not at all surprised. Okay, right. Um, I'm going to meet you guys at the entrance, because it will uh, save time. See you in a sec. Okay, guys, and this is where we're going to be ending this episode. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the playthrough, and I'll see you in the next episode. Alright guys, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Take care.